Hi, I'm back at LabCon. I'm here with Mike from Legacy RP, and we're going to be chatting a bit, little bit about Legacy. So, for those who don't know you, tell us a little bit. Oh, a bit about me or a bit about our game? Our, your game. Our game. Um, it's a labour of love. Okay. It genuinely is. It's uh, myself and a lot of friends who'd uh, crewed and worked for other LARP systems got together and decided we wanted to run one for ourselves. Yep. Um, we, we sort of stuck our heads together and we realised that we've actually got quite a lot of event running experience between our sort of little mm. core group, you know, there's, yeah. there's a hundred years plus of event running experience oh, in our sort of core group yeah. of eight to ten people. Mm. Um, and we decided to basically base a whole system on three points. Mm -hmm. um, accessibility, yep. and not right. just for handy capable people or people with learning disabilities or such, but also financial accessibility, because okay. some games are you know, a little uh, expensive, they get expensive get yeah. shit and such. So we try to mitigate that. We, uh, we do weapon and shield hire. Okay. So if you're you know, coming down on public transport for your first ever LARP game. Oh, that's fantastic. Come down. We sort of went back to our ideals when we started way back in the dark days, thinking, yeah. You were either, you know, when you wanted your first set of LARP kit, you were either good with a needle and thread, or you were lucky enough to know somebody. Yeah. Or if you were a, a clumsy handed fool like myself, you, you went down a local charity shop. Yep, and, and found a few things and. Uh, inside out fair coat with the sleeves cut off. Perfect. <laughs> but obviously, you don't find that a lot with the weapons and the armour involved in no, that. No, yeah, that was always an initial expense. Yeah. So we tried to mitigate that by doing a higher system for newer players. Great. So £15 a weekend gets you your own sword, your own shield, that's yours for the weekend. Yep. And it was, that, that was just a little bit of the inclusivity, no, the inclusivity is, of it. That's a huge step forward because it's really hard to do, to get people to, it's hard to start if you haven't got anything to start with. Yeah, in, entirely. We've all been there. Yeah. And we know what it's like. I mean, 10, 20 years down the road or wherever we are, I've got a shed full of stuff and you know, <laughs> yeah. half of it doesn't get used anymore, but it doesn't mean we should stop thinking about the people who are just coming into the hobby. Yeah. And that's, you know, we should never stop thinking about those people because they're the future of our hobby. Oh, they are. Uh, no shadow. And talking of that, our youth team. Yeah, yeah. you have been that to me, let's hear all about it. <laughs> so, um, the second big drive for us yeah. was the young people. Yeah. They're not kids, you know, they're, yeah. they're not a tack on to the rest of the game. Yeah. They're the next generation of us. Yeah, they are. You know, we're, none of us are getting younger. They can't shave enough of this beard now to get the grey out. <laughs> yeah. So, when in 10, 15, 20 years time, when I'm too tired to run a game, when, you know, I, I just can't bring myself to do it. I can just have that. Those people are going to. They're the next generation of what we are now. You know, they're the, they're the future of LARP in this country and hopefully worldwide. You know, oh, yeah. it's a game that everyone can enjoy. So, why do we stop playing games? Yeah. Well, obviously we don't. We don't. <laughs> yes, and we don't. And we know how good it is to continue playing games. Yeah. But um, once again, to mix those two things, the the accessibility and the, the youth involvement. Um, our youth team is run by three people. Yep. Um, they are all qualified teachers. Fantastic. There's a huge quantity of qualifications in working with young people with learning disabilities or mm -hmm. with behavioural disabilities. That's so we try to cater for as much as we can. Mm. Um, we have the policies to back it up as well. So the policy back up, you, you've got the experienced qualified staff to do it as well. Yeah. And great. the third thing that really dri drives our game, or we hope comes across as driving our game, is player agency. Okay. The players make the choices, yeah. we react to them. Lovely. It, it, our, our story is a story that you make and we embellish. Yeah. It's not a story that we write and you have to write. No, yeah. You're not sort of on a train going down a track and the story is just kicking you No, because where's the fun in that? Yeah, it's, no, it's more fun to have, have things happen. Oh, I've done that. And this has happened. I, I enjoy reading a book, yeah. but I enjoy writing one as well. Yeah. I, I get a little bit more creative flow out of writing one. Oh yeah, always. And that's what you do with the players. That's how we run our game. Yeah, and that, that's one of the awesome three principles. Well, we've done very well. We've, mm. um, we've run three full weekends and a, a one day social yep. um, over the last two years. We've been very, very fortunate to be awarded by our peers yep. uh, with the best family LARP system for two years running now. You have, which is, um, congratulations on it's, that. It's <laughs> absolutely, you know, we are absolutely blown away by the whole situation. It's, yeah. um, 
it's a huge compliment from our peers and the people who come and play our games. We can't say thank you enough for that. So, yeah, yeah. Um, and it is awesome. And what you're doing is so on next level stuff on families and. We're not great. trying to play one-upmanship because no, there are no. so many great games out no, there. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean that. I mean, what you're trying to do is actually just thinking about it in a new way and being a bit innovative that's, and, that's pushing it on, it's, and pushing it on a bit further. It's, it's old-fashioned new approach. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're all old and crusty, but it doesn't mean yeah. we shouldn't be changing with the times. And, and times exactly. change everything. Times change it and you've got to work with them. Exactly. Yeah. If you stay still, you may as well be going backwards. Yeah. No, no, you can't do that. Always, always onwards and upwards. Yes, very much so. Uh, brilliant, Mike. Well, look, thank you very much. That's been no, a thanks great for your time. Thank you. Really appreciate well, it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like, click the subscribe, and turn on your notifications, which will tell you when we next upload. Also, there are some videos here you can watch. They don't click themselves. I mean, you've gone this far and you still haven't clicked them. Go on.